Hey, what's up, y'all? Everybody tuning in. Um, this is your boy, Sugar Ray. Um, I wanted to jump on here real quick and talk a little bit about my thoughts on the new Amazon headquarters coming to Long Island City, Queens, New York. Um, a few people asked me about it. Um, a lot of people in my community and from Long Island City in general are outraged. Um, I fully understand that outrage. But let me get into a couple of points. Number one, I think for the greater Long Island City community, um, the way the direction that it's going, right, for the rich, um, I think it's a great look. Why not? Right? Um, clearly, it's a great look for Amazon, right? Um, and again, I think for the greater Long Island City community, geographically, not counting the actual residents who live in Long Island City, right, or all the businesses, but just the area, geographic location itself, I think is great. Now, as far as residents, um, I don't think that Amazon coming to Long Island City is great for all of the residents in Long Island City. I think it may be great for some. Um, you know, parking is going to be terrible. Um, you know, there's already a major issue with parking here in Long Island City, particularly in Queensbridge. Um, and I think Amazon factory coming here is going to make that a little more challenging. Um, even deeper than that, I think particularly for the residents of Queensbridge, I think it's a horrible look. All right. Um, I think that um, I know they say, you know, supposed to hire local. Um, don't know if they're going to keep that word. Don't know if they're going to do that. And even if so, it's like, okay, that's that's like pennies. And no matter how much money it is, it's pennies compared to what they're generating. All right. So, again, it's still, uh, um, in a lot of ways, modern-day slave ship. All right. Um, but, again, sometimes you gotta, you got to you gotta do what you got to do to make it work, um, as some would say. Secondly, um, my deeper point, when the first brother asked me yesterday my thoughts on Amazon coming to the community, I was like, I have no thoughts. I have no thoughts because we're always focused on who's going to give us jobs. We're always focused on who's coming to our community our community, where we don't really have a community, meaning that we don't own anything in this community. Yeah, there are people who've been in Queensbridge 40, 50, 60 years even, but you don't own anything in Queensbridge. You don't, you don't own your apartment that you live in. You don't have a business. Some may have a car, but it's like you don't even really fully own that. So it's like, this is not your community, right? This is the city's community to do what they please. Um, and so, my again, my, my initial response when the brother asked me was that I have no thoughts. Right, um, because I'm focused and I'm committed to getting my coins up and getting my coins right where I can own, um, and I can own and control my own destiny and control what goes on in my area, my community where I live. But in this public housing system, um, we don't really have the luxury to control it. We have a say in it, or we should have a say in it. But ultimately, especially with the richest man in the world, worth 150 billion dollars, pretty much you can do whatever the hell you want to do in the location because like money talks and bullshit and everything else walks. And so if he was able to pay or put money into the pockets of Governor Andrew Cuomo and Mayor Bill de Blasio to make that happen, right? They say it was a three people secret meeting with those three, then of course they're gonna approve it and they're gonna allow him to go through all of the loopholes and give him a tax break. Cause it's like, yo, nigga, I'm worth $150 billion. Um, your city's gonna be blessed because I'm here cause I'm gonna attract so much more business, so much more infrastructure, so many other people, my my people are going to be now in your area, right, in your city. Um, so it's a business move, man. And again, when you talk about business, you've got to take your personal feelings out of it. And I think the issue with a lot of my people, particularly us here in Queensbridge, is that myself included at times, we're so emotional, we're so caught up in our emotions and what we think it should be um, and not what it is. And what it is is that this is a country built on business. It's a country built on capitalizing off of someone else, someone else's misfortune, right? Or capitalizing at the expense of someone else's misfortune, right? Um, or someone else, you know, lack of whatever. Um, and so, again, my thoughts on uh, uh, Amazon coming to Long Island City is great for the geographic location. Um, it's a great look for the future of Long Island City. Um, and really people, black people here in public housing, right, people who are, um, are considered quote-unquote poor or middle class, they don't count in that discussion. And so we have to be real honest with ourselves and say, number one, this is what it is. Number two, we got to get our freaking coins up, man. Let's get our money up. Let's own something. Let's get our money up and let's build something so we don't have to keep fighting and arguing and protesting and rallying when someone wants to do something in the community that you think you own or you claim as yours. And I get the claiming, right? I've lived here so long, I pay rent here. But it's like, you pay rent here. Like, yo, fuck. About your rent? Like, we can get someone to pay 10 times that. So we don't care. 
And that's the mentality of um, a lot of the people who make decisions against the good fortune or against the will or without the opinion or say of residents of Queensbridge or public housing communities. And so, man, we just got to keep pushing, pull our resources, build something. Let's build something together. Let's own something. Let's stop arguing. Let's stop protesting. Let's stop begging for jobs, man. Let's create some jobs for ourselves, our children, our families. Um, let's make it happen, man. So I just wanted to jump on here real quick and uh, talk about that. You know, so holla at your boy, man. It's your boy, Sugar Ray. Follow me on Facebook, um, S-U-G-A-R-A-Y, Sugar Ray. should be the first one to pop up. Follow me on Instagram, um, S-U-G-A-R-A-Y 4506. Follow me on Twitter, S-U-G-A-R-A-Y 4506. Um, and let's build this thing, man. Let's build wealth. Let's build wealth. Let's build wealth, man. Holla at your boy. Peace.